China, marijuana is equal to cocaine, meaning it's highly illegal, considered a class A dangerous drug and is punishable as such. But little did you know that behind the great firewall of China existed a crew like this one. Weed, after all, came from the Middle Kingdom. We went out to industrial area deep in the outer lying suburbs of mainland China to hang out at the secret headquarters of Oriental Stoner Collective Wizman420. This nebulous crew of gamers, graphic artists, space cowboys and girls came together due to their mutual love of cannabis and its culture. So we're here in Shenzhen with Yuda and Alice of Wizman420. Hi guys. Hi. Hi, Christo. We just want to know your origin story. We got the comic first. Mm -hmm. The comics about is the underground, you know, dealing life in China, mainland China. Mm -hmm. The comic is about a normal person, and when he smoke weed, he become a wiz man. And then, um, Around the comic, we made some related products. Aside from the eponymous Wizman 420 manhua they publish and distribute, the crew also writes, translates, and disperses general information about cannabis using a referral and invite only system. For a 42 US dollar membership fee, Chinese stoners can get an uncensored lifetime's access to what is considered by the Chinese government a library of highly illicit information. They also produce a whole bunch of weed-related products, including papers, phone cases, hats, teas, and their very own dab rig, the Dabliss. So here is our production. Okay, check this out. This is what we're gonna dab. It's easy to use. Now we open the capsule. It looks like a time traveling machine. Oh. Maybe it is a little bit. Now is the it's time for getting high, okay? Currently, your followers and your bigger community in China, how do they get in touch with you? Is it mainly through your website? Is it through Weibo, Weibo I guess, right? Uh, we got the platform we, we chat. in WeChat. WeChat. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, we can post the articles yeah. that educate the people about the streams, about the med medicine using, yes. In fact, they claim to be the first ones to introduce modern cannabis theories such as strains and concentrations to China and have been educating those who seek it in the proper use of cannabis for years. Also, we got some article to teach you how to classify the fake, the fake weed, yeah, the chemical weed and the real Good weed. Because there are some, you know, bad dealers to sell shit and selling bad weeds to, to some new guys. But at the heart of it, all these guys want to do is help spread peace and love to the world with hearts touched by the holy green. The most important thing is about the freedom spirit. And the cannabis is like a symbol to freedom. Actually, the real thing is we want to do something we want to do. We want to pursue some freedom and democracy in China, yes. Yoda, Alice and the gang are basically helping weed to cross borders, albeit illegally, and bringing people together to cultivate what they call an oriental chill land, keeping that hippie spirit alive and infusing it with their own brand of Eastern mysticism. Long live Wizmen420.